case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1958, the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit addressed a case in which linguistics and legislation intertwined in an intricate dance, the focus being the interpretation of a single conjunction, and. At the heart of the case, Peacock v. Lubbock Compress Company, were three night watchmen who sued their employer, the Compress Company, for overtime wages under the Fair Labor Standards Act, FLSA. The dispute centered around Section 207, C, of the FLSA, which exempts certain employers from paying overtime if they are involved in specific industrial activities, namely the processing of cotton. As the Compress Company was involved in compressing cotton, the key issue became the interpretation of the word and within the wording of this exemption. Scribing the majority opinion, Judge John R. Brown acknowledged the complexity of the task. Though a simple conjunction, and, has multiple meanings, and the court needed to ascertain how the legislature intended it to be understood within the context of the act. In its decision, the court upheld that the exemption in Section 207C could apply to either ginning or compressing cotton, dismissing a literal interpretation of and. The court held that Congress did not aim to set an impossible standard with its use of the word and. Instead, it intended to provide an exemption for either process performed within the defined production area. This rejection of literalism was supported by references to prior cases that allowed such flexibility in statutory interpretation, embodying the idea that the intention of legislation outweighs stringent adherence to linguistic details. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.